Whether you're a seasonal aviation professional, an aspiring aviator, or simply intrigued by the incredible machines that take to the skies, you've landed in the right place. Welcome to Aviation by Ali. I'm Ali, and today we're embarking on a journey behind the scenes, delving into the intricate and vital realm of aircraft maintenance. From routine checks to the major overhaul, we'll uncover the meticulous process that keep an airborne giant safe, efficient, and ready to soar. Join us as we explore the hangars, meet the skilled technicians and engineers who make it all happen and unravel the secret that ensure every flight is a safe and a smooth experience. So buckle up and prepare for an insider look at the world of aircraft maintenance, where precision meets passion and every detail counts. Aircraft maintenance involves various checks and inspections to ensure the safety and airworthiness of the aircraft. The specific check can vary depending on the type of aircraft its usage and regulatory requirements. However, there are commonly recognized maintenance checks that are performed at regular intervals. The main categories include A-check, B-check, C-check and D-check. The A-check is this is a relatively minor check and is often performed every 200 to 600 flight hours. The B-check is a more in-depth check and is typically conducted every 6 to 8 months. C-check is a comprehensive check that involves more extensive inspections and may be performed every 18 to 24 months. D-check also known as a heavy maintenance visit. This is the most comprehensive check and can last several weeks. It is generally conducted every 5 to 10 years. These checks involve inspection and, if necessary, repairing or replacing various components and systems of the aircraft. Additionally, airlines and maintenance organizations conduct routine daily and weekly checks to ensure that the aircraft is in good working order. Let's take a deeper look at them. Check Alpha The Alpha check is one of the routine maintenance checks performed on an aircraft. It is relative minor and quick inspection compared to more extensive checks like the B, C and D checks. The alpha checks is typically carried out every 200 to 600 flight hours depending on the aircraft types and operating maintenance program. During an A check, maintenance personnel focus on inspecting and servicing various systems and components. The goal is to address any minor issues perform routine maintenance tasks and ensure that the aircraft is in compliance with safety and airworthiness standards. Some of the typical tasks involved in an A-check may include routine inspections, checking for any visible sign of damage, wear and abnormalities in the aircraft structure or components. The second one is fluid checks, inspecting and topping of fluids such as engine or hydraulic fluid and other essential fluids. 3. Tire and brake inspections, checking the condition of tires and brakes and addressing any issues. The next one is lubrication, applying lubrication to various components to ensure smooth operation. And also in the alpha check, they check functionality checks, verifying the functionality of essential systems, instruments and avionics. And also software updates. They usually update software in avionics systems as required. The last one is cleaning, which is performing generally cleaning of the aircraft interior and exterior. The alpha check is usually performed relatively quickly, often during scheduled layovers or overnight stops, allowing the aircraft to return to service properly. It is an essential part of the overall maintenance program, contributing to the continuous airworthiness and safety of the aircraft. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumb up and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our exciting aviation adventures. Now is the check Bravo. The Bravo check is a more comprehensive maintenance check compared to a Alpha check, but is still considered a routine and relatively short duration inspection. The Bravo check is typically conducted every 6 to 8 months and its purpose is to address more in-depth maintenance tasks that go beyond the scope of the Alpha check. This check is crucial for ensuring the continued airworthiness of the aircraft. During the Bravo check, maintenance personnel perform a variety of inspections, repairs 
and maintenance tasks. Some common tasks associated with a Bravo check include system checks, which in depth inspection of various aircraft systems, including hydraulics, pneumatics, avionics, and fuel systems. The next one is component inspections, detailed examination of specific components such as landing gear, brakes, and flight control surfaces. The third one is structural inspections, detailed checks for any sign of structural wear, corrosion, or damage. The fourth one is functional tests, verifying the proper functioning of critical systems and components. The next one is replacement of components, replacing parts that have reached their recommended service life or show signs of wear and tear. And also the cabin check is another one. Inspecting the interior components of the aircraft, including seats, galleys and lavatories. And the last one is painting cosmetic touch-ups. Addressing any cosmetic issues such as repainting or types up to maintain the aircraft appearance. The Bravo check is more time consuming than the Alpha check and often requires the aircraft to be taken out of service for a longer period. However, it is still a planned maintenance event. An airline's schedule Bravo check to coincide with planned maintenance cycle to minimize operating disruptions. The third check is Check Charlie. The Charlie check, often referred to as a heavy maintenance visit, is a more comprehensive inspection and maintenance event compared to Alpha O. Bravo checks. It involves a thorough examination of the aircraft systems, structures, and components and is typically performed at longer interval, usually every 18 to 24 months, depending on the aircraft type and operator. During a Charlie check, the aircraft undergoes a detailed inspection that may involve more extensive disassembly and access to components compared to the Alpha and Bravo checks. Some common tasks associated with a Charlie check include The first one is a structural inspections Detailed examination of the aircraft structure for sign of corrosion, fatigue or other structural issues And also the component overhauls is checking at the Charlie check Overhauling and replacing components that have reached their recommended service life Landing gear inspection is other one Comprehensive inspection of the landing gear, including disassembly and reassembly. Avionics testing is other type of test. In these tests, detailed testing and inspections of avionics system ensuring they meet performance standards. The cabin interior overhaul is the other test, which overhauling or refurbishing the cabin interior, including seats, cockpits, and other interior components. Repainting is other part of this test. Complete or partial repainting of the aircraft to address corrosion, wear, or for cosmetic reason. And the last one is engine maintenance. Depending on the aircraft, engines may undergo significant maintenance during a Charlie check, including inspections, repairs, or overhauls. The Charlie check is more time consuming process, and the aircraft is usually taken out of service for an extended period, potentially several weeks. This type of maintenance event is carefully planned to coincide with the scheduled maintenance cycles to minimize operational disruption for the airline. The last check is Check Delta. The Delta check, also known as heavy maintenance visit or major overhaul, is the most comprehensive and extensive maintenance check an aircraft undergoes. It involves a through inspection and overhaul of nearly all of the aircraft systems structures and components. The delta check is typically performed at longer intervals, generally every 5 to 10 years, depending on the aircraft type and regulatory requirements. During a delta check, the aircraft undergoes a comprehensive teardown and inspections. This maintenance event is often conducted in a dedicated maintenance facility and it may take several weeks to complete. Some common tasks associated with the Delta check include complete disassembly. The first one is complete disassembly. The aircraft is partially or completely disassembled to allow for detailed inspections of individual components and systems. 
The next one is structural inspections. Detailed examination of the entire aircraft structure to detect any sign of fatigue, corrosion, or other structural issues. Also, the components overhauls, including overhauling and replacing numerous components, including landing gear, engines, avionics, and other critical systems. The cabin refurbishment is the fourth one in the Delta check. Comprehensive refurbishment of the cabin interior, including replacement of seats, carpets, and other components. Painting, also complete repainting of the aircraft to address corrosion via or for cosmetic reason. The next one is implementation of any required upgrade or modification to meet the latest safety and performance standards. And also the functional testing for all systems and companies to ensure they meet specified performance criteria. The Delta check is a major undertaking and involving significant resources, both in terms of time and cost. Airlines plan for Delta checks well in advance and may use this opportunity to incorporate modifications or upgrades to keep their aircraft up to date with the latest technology and safety standards. As with other maintenance checks, the specific task and duration of Delta check can vary based on the aircraft type, operator, and regulatory requirements. The details are outlined in the aircraft maintenance manual, and the maintenance even must be approved by aviation authorities. It is important to know that the terminology and specific can vary among different aircraft types and regulatory authorities. Airlines and maintenance organization follow the maintenance requirements specified by, by the aircraft manufacturer and the relevant aviation authorities such as the Federal Aviation Administration FAA in the United States or the European Union Aviation Safety Agency ESA in Europe.